Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to another Android tutorial series. My name is Tamu Sikandar and today we are going to create layout series inside Android Studio and this is going to be fun. Today we are going to discuss constraint layout which is the first layout tutorial of this series. So what we will be learning today is how to use a constraint layout and how to make our screen responsive using constraint layout. Today we will be creating a responsive screen with uh, two boxes at top, one, the, one at the middle and four lines at the bottom. Currently this design is showing inside a pixel mobile. Let's change it to the small screen which is I think a wristwatch screen. It is perfectly aligned, nothing is going outside or overlapping. Let's change screen to pixel 3xl again this is a big screen and our design is pretty good the last one is next is 10 again we stretch the design or rotate our devices but again the design is perfectly good this is what we will be creating today so stick together watch the video till end okay to get started we will not be coding anything here so let's quickly jump to the XML file the design file and quickly remove this hello world okay now inside the component tree you can check i by default i have a constraint layout but and if you have a constraint layout it's good if you don't have and if you want to change simply delete this one select and press delete and go to the layouts and inside this we have a constraint layout simply grab this layout and paste it over the screen okay now we have a constraint layout uh, so to make it responsive and how to use constraint layout I will be using views to demonstrate the tutorial so go to the widgets grab the view and paste it on the screen or leave it on the screen uh, to change its width and height simply select this one and change it to 200 dp and the second one will be 200 dp to make it a box ok now we have a box to change its color so it can be uniquely identified change its background color click on this icon and select some color ok now we have a one box but we need two boxes so simply copy this one and click on the constraint and paste this layout ok now we have view 2 and view 3 simply grab one Okay, now you can see the current design or the current screen is in the pixel one, the first one. So let's change it uh, again. The view one is 200 dp into 200 dp, and the view two also have same width and height. So simply grab the screen and make it a little smaller. Go to the Nexus 5. Now you can see our screen is going outside, or our view is going outside of the screen away from the screen so we don't want that simply go back to the pixel 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 yes we are in the pixel so simply select one and to add constraints to the views or to the text fields to the buttons you have to select that view and click on this plus icon inside this layout block click on this plus to add a connection to the left yes it is connected to the left with zero margin that means it will be connected to the left screen left side of screen okay to also you can see we have an error here which is missing constraint layout which is vertically okay uh, we must have to assign at least one vertical and one horizontal view if we will not set these constraints it will jump back to the zero location so in constraint layout we must have to select these constraints okay now we have one horizontal and one vertical so i will attach to the above again same thing i will be doing with the second view this time right and top okay now let's quickly change its size to nexus 5 now they are not going away from the screen but they are overlapping each other so again we have a problem here we cannot use site designs inside our applications so what to do now okay let's again change it from here to the pixel uh, we will 
हैव टू मेक श्योर वन अनदर थिंग द फर्स्ट थिंग इज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट रिस्पॉन्सिव स्क्रीन हॉरिजोंटली और इफ यू वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट योर व्यूज रिस्पॉन्सिव हॉरिजोंटली यू मस्ट हैव टू क्रिएट कनेक्शन हॉरिजोंटल कनेक्शन ओके आई हैव वन कनेक्शन एट लेफ्ट एंड द राइट वन इज एम टी आई विल क्रिएट दैट एज वेल क्लिक ऑन दिस प्लस आइकन अगेन सेट इट टू जीरो create this plus one and make it to zero okay now we have two boxes so when i will change its screen to the pixel okay now we have another problem when we change it to the pixel we set both constraints so they cannot overlap uh, what will happen now is they push themselves away from each other but they will go outside the screen so now you can see the second view is away from the screen again the third same as the third one is away from the screen okay again the problem is still there so we simply have to change this its width to match constraint and the second one's width to match constraint so now it is perfectly responsive let's go back to the pixel to uh, to the pixel now you can see uh, let me change Its color to second color. Okay, yes, good. Okay, now first one is covering its whole position. I change its width from 200 dp to change its layout width to 0 dp, which means match constraint. So now it is matching the constraint means it will set its position according to the constraint layout. Okay, now the second one is also 0 dp and match constraint. Pretty good. Okay, now let me change. it to the small screen to make sure they are perfectly yes they are perfectly responsive to know it better let's add another view simply copy this one and paste grab it from the top also we can change its height to 400 dp you okay, know we have two 200 dp views and the one is 400 dp okay, let me change its color okay let me quickly add other four views at the bottom okay now i have added four more views at the bottom and you can see here it is uh, showing the error not horizontally constrained and not vertically constrained so at least to place them here and when we will run this application on the device to uh, look these views or the widgets here we must have to set these two constraints at least so the first one is to the top and the second one is at the left again for this one to the right and to the top Okay again we need to set these and Okay now we have four views and uh, these constraints are set okay let's quickly change it to the next is 5 what will be happening here is the first one the second one and the third one are overlapping each other and the fourth one is still at the position change it to the pixel to make them responsive we have to set this third constraint as well So click on this plus gear, plus button again. The plus one and its left one, then its left. One. Okay, now we have constraints. Change it to zero and again select this one and change it to zero. Okay, now we have four layouts. They are set horizontally. Their constraints are set horizontally. and change we will change its width to match constraint now you can see they are filling these gaps match constraint and the last one is match constraint okay now you can see on the small screen they are not overlapping or not going away from the screen so they are pretty responsive okay now make them responsive vertically we know how to make a responsive horizontally so to create vertically responsive we need to add constraints vertical constraints 
uh, we already have the top one bottom one is missing create this plus and create the constraint the bottom one and the bottom one okay now we set these constraints but we want to change their heights change their height to match constraint and also this one to match constraint then they are not covering the whole screen because the constraint is 231 set to 231 and change it to 0 again the second one change it to 0 and change the last one to match constraint ok now let's go back to the small screen and you can see the effect here these three are perfectly responsive vertical as well as horizontal but the remaining twos are going away from the screen they are not vertically responsive so again go back to pixel and make them vertical as well create their bottom constraint bottom constraint and it's bottom and the last one bottom constraint change them to match constraint second one to match constraint change they are set to 231 from the bottom make them 0 ok now let's change their height to match constraint first one second one to match constraint and the third one and the fourth one are already match constraints ok now when we get back to the small screen now you can see they are perfectly responsive so to make screens large now you can see this is a custom screen uh, it is responsive let's make them the next is 9 so they are responsive here as well so that's it for today so in the next videos we will be creating responsive screens using relative layout and linear layout stick together and that's it for today do not forget to subscribe the channel and share this video with your friends if you learn anything do not forget to like and it will hardly take your two to five seconds thank you for watching take care allah peace